The construction and ultimate completion of Cabot St. Lucia will produce several economic benefits for St. Lucia. The project will not only add a new component to the country's tourism offering, but will also provide employment opportunities for St. Lucians. We get details in this report. Founder and executive chairman of Cabot St. Lucia explained that he first visited St. Lucia some five and a half years ago with a view of assessing the possibility of expanding the Cabot brand to the island. Ben Kawindoa, who is the founder and executive chairman of Cabot St. Lucia, stated that this initial visit had convinced him that St. Lucia was ideal to build the best golf course in the Caribbean. The chief executive officer explained that if successful, the project could reap huge rewards for St. Lucia, including bringing in a new type of tourist and contributing to the economy. Christine Thompson is the chief executive officer of Cabot St. Lucia. You know, this will bring to St. Lucia a new sector of tourism that currently doesn't exist today. In fact, it doesn't exist really anywhere in the region, which are really tourists that travel just to play golf. So most would come to a resort, enjoy the sand, the sea, the food, the, the culture, etc. And there might be a golf course that was part of a, a, an amenity of the resort and they might play, you know, golf one day, for example. But this, these are people that actually seek out the best golf courses all around the world and travel just for the golf. And I think what's great about, about this project is that, that those people right now are not coming to this part of the region. Um, not coming to St. Lucia. And so it's a whole new sector of tourists. Um, they are also affluent and they also will spend a lot more time here. So when we look at, you know, the, the economic contribution to the economy that these people will bring, it will be much greater than, say, others that might come on a cruise ship or stay at a, 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 as an all-inclusive resort, for example. The chief executive officer explained that Cabot is very committed to employing St. Lucians. She added that upon completion, some 500 individuals are expected to be employed when in full operation. We're very committed to the employment of locals first, then regional, then expat. So we would only sort of bring in foreign workers where there is really a, a skill gap in one area, and there are a couple of those, yes. But, you know, if you look around our site now, you'll see Lucians everywhere. Um, our CFO is, is a St. Lucian, our accountant, our QS, our um, many members of the construction team. And that it's really satisfying for me to be able to sort of build a team that um, brings opportunity to this region at a time where we really need it more than anything else. Um, we also have a plan that even where we bring in foreigners, that those people don't stay you know, very long. We bring them, we train them, and that we can get people working for them to actually um, grow into those roles. Founder and executive chairman of Cabot St. Lucia, Ben Cowan-Douan, indicated that the number of individuals employed during the construction phase will vary. The nature of the construction, which is multi-phases and sort of different than a single hotel, which obviously has a construction and then a stabilization, we have a multi-phase, you know, sort of construction schedule that'll last a decade. So I think the construction jobs will continue to be ongoing and the 500 is really the stabilized operation. Officials of Cabot St. Lucia have been working assiduously to alleviate several concerns that have been brought to the fore. These include the findings of a recently conducted archaeological investigation and local access to the Queen's Chain. As it relates to the archaeological investigation, Thompson explained that Cabot St. Lucia has been working with relevant stakeholders, including the St. Lucia National Trust and the St. Lucia Archaeological and Historical Society. The chief executive officer disclosed that the investigation revealed that there is nothing left of archaeological significance at the site. She also assured that St. Lucians will have access to the Queen's Chain. On Casamar Beach, for example, which is a large part of the Queen's Chain, there's absolutely no restriction. You know, you come down to the beach, you walk past the covered properties all the way to the end like you're accustomed to it. Um, there are other parts of the Queen Chain around, for example, Donkey Beach and Secret Beach, where the, it, it's sort of part of the development. But what we've committed to is that any St. Lucian who wants to access those beaches 
can come to our reception, can park, and we would escort them down in a golf cart to the beach until they were finished and they wanted to go back and then we take them home. The project, which is expected to be completed in 2022, will be Cabot's third golf course and second resort in its expanding portfolio of world-class properties. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norvell.